So right now, our understanding is that uh, the number of Americans who plan to refuse a vaccine for COVID-19 when it becomes available is quite pervasive. Depending on the survey and how you ask the question, somewhere between one in five to one in three Americans plan to refuse a vaccine once one becomes available. Research that my colleagues and I published at The Conversation a couple of months ago suggests that the number is close to one in four. And I think that's a reasonable estimate. Estimates of refusal have remained relatively steady throughout the pandemic. So even as conditions on the ground have changed, the number of people planning to refuse hasn't really budged. And, you know, I'd like to talk for a second about why that's potentially very problematic. Recent epidemiological research suggests that we need somewhere between 40 and 80% of Americans to be inoculated against this disease, whether that's by getting the disease and recovering from it and developing antibodies that are stable and lasting, or getting the vaccine in order to put the disease's spread into decline. So if we're talking about one in three Americans potentially refusing this vaccine right off the bat, and the possibility that the vaccine itself isn't going to be 100% effective. Fauci has suggested that 70% is a potentially good number to try to strive for. We are potentially talking about a very precarious situation where we don't hit the number of people we need to have developed antibodies to this disease in order to begin to put the disease's spread into decline. And that means a longer return, uh, longer timetable to return to normalcy. Uh, and it also potentially raises the specter of seasonality of the disease persisting long enough uh, that enough strands and enough new strands develop uh, that this becomes something that we have to deal with on a yearly basis. Many of the poll questions, at least many of the poll, poll questions that I've talked about, today expressly mentioned to people that the vaccine will be offered at no cost. So we're seeing high levels of refusal even when people are told that the vaccine will be offered at no cost. Some preliminary research though from, from my colleagues and I that hasn't been peer reviewed yet suggests that there's many Americans who are nevertheless worried about the cost. And so I think that when a vaccine is deemed safe and effective, and when it becomes available for mass consumption, it's going to be very important for the CDC and other actors to make it very clear to Americans that uh, this vaccine will be easy to get and that it will be free. Otherwise, I think you could see potentially even higher levels of non-compliance. You know, when a coronavirus vaccine debuts, it's in all likelihood not going to be mandatory that people get it. We, and the reason why I'm so interested in studying this issue is because we depend on people choosing to get the vaccine. That means that we're not only interested in who might refuse the vaccine because they think it's unsafe, but who might refuse the vaccine because they think it's inconvenient to get it. Um, because they can't find the time or are worried about leaving their home potentially uh, or entering a pharmacy to get the vaccine. We really need to pay close attention to those dynamics because the best examples we have, for example, seasonal influenza, suggest that only between three and four out of 10 Americans get the flu shot every year. There's a possibility that the coronavirus vaccine that we ultimately get will be administered in multiple doses. We're going to be asking Americans to voluntarily get a vaccine, potentially in more than one dose, in a way that we've never really asked them for before. And so I think it's really important that we try to understand how many Americans plan to refuse a vaccine and what their reasons are for doing so. That's gonna play a key role and informing the types of communication campaigns that might ultimately prove effective in, in getting people uh, on the side of the vaccine and choosing to get vaccinated.